I want to get nipple pierced, does it hurt? I had one night stand and now the guy keeps coming for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Patricia here, back with another video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Today's video, we are doing a get ready with me, creating this look, makeup and outfit. All together, we're just having a little chit chat updating my life and also a little um answering a few questions that you guys asked me like advice and stuff like that so i will just be talking with you guys throughout the whole day the whole getting ready so i do hope you guys enjoy this video let's just keep the intro short and get straight into this video okay guys so welcome to my get ready with me today's video i'm gonna i'm going to get ready with you guys of course but i'm going to do my hair first and then we do my makeup but i'm gonna do like a time lapse on my hair just because it's gonna take ages and then we do like a chit chat as we do the makeup so i'm gonna do my hair first and we just do a time lapse so let's just do like um black hair but i don't know how i feel i think i quite like this way being like this it doesn't look horrible it looks a bit messy which i quite like that and why is the like going away i quite like that so i think i'm just gonna leave it this way and we can just move on to do my makeup So I first wanted to kind of update you guys a little bit on what I intend to be doing as uh, yeah first I want to kind of talk to you guys a little bit of what I intend to do with YouTube and where I'm at at the moment and what's my plan for the upcoming months and so so I currently do YouTube and my YouTube videos are literally beauty, which is mostly hair and makeup. But mostly hair because I'm not that good at makeup. I just go with the flow, I guess. But mostly hair. So hair, lifestyle, I do like vlogs and stuff like that. So I definitely want to keep my lifestyle within my YouTube content as well. And also some fashion. And also... Is there any other... Okay, let's check this out of here okay so also like fashion videos so i want to i don't want to just base on one thing like just hair because i do like other things and i want to have that also in my videos so i don't just want to focus on doing um hair or fashion or anything so it will be all the time hair 
uh, lifestyle and also fashion lifestyle would be a lot of like vlogs so um not gonna do me will be on beauty kind of thing yeah so be mostly like vlogs like morning routines my a productive day in my life also now things are opening so i'll be going out a lot 100 percent. so i'll be taking you guys through that as well so i definitely want to incorporate those things with it so it won't just be specific hair it will be also lifestyle and fashion like i mentioned so yeah i just wanted to kind of emphasize that to you guys i'm gonna do my eyebrows first but i can't really talk and do my eyebrows i don't think so i'm gonna try and do my eyebrows i use this uh a uh, benefit pencil thing i got this from boots this is my new thing i got this from boots i think two weeks ago and i really like this because it just keeps my eyebrows super natural and i don't really have to do much for it this a morphe brush that is all bitten because of my dog it's just this brush here i don't know i don't know brush name so don't even quote me on that names or numbers i have no idea but i just use this brush for my eyebrows and i just try like shape it around and then and all the concealer left That's that. okay so i kind of updated you guys on what i wanted to do sorry i can't talk a while in my eyebrows things so i'm gonna be using this um benefit um primer yeah, i literally use this much yeah, so I kind of had to get my life together and understand exactly what I was going to be doing, how am I going to keep my days busy, and what I actually have to do not to, you know, get myself there. I'm also studying at the same time, so it's like incorporating uh, my YouTube and also my... Um, incorporate youtube and also my uni work and everything so it's literally both things together that i'm doing at the moment and that's the only thing i'm doing so as i'm doing that now i have also do some of the things besides that but i don't really want to share that but yeah so that's basically what i'm doing right now and so i had to get myself together in a position that i could or feel okay to actually you know be consistent with my youtube and everything so besides getting a video every week i definitely want to do two videos a week so that will be my actual goal for april and i'm gonna try my best to actually do that and i feel like once i achieve once i achieve so i feel like once i achieve this for the month of april i'll be able to keep consistent and actually keep doing that for example in February, my goal for February was to wake up every single day at 6 in the morning. And for the whole month, up until now, I wake up every single day at 6 in the morning. Some days I stay longer in bed and not actually leave the bed for 6. But I do actually still wake up at 6. So that was my goal for April. I'm also going to use this iconic uh, London to like, like a base as well. So yeah, I'm going to add... I just literally adds a little bit to my hands like that and then I just kind of put it all over here also on my forehead I know it will look a bit weird now but it will give me the glow I need at the end so don't worry okay sorry um 
so I'm going to be asking, uh, answering a few questions from you guys. So the first one is, I want to get a tattoo, but I'm scared. Does it hurt? Uh, I, uh, the only tattoo I have is this one. So for you guys to actually, I'll be using the NARS foundation. This is in shade Macau. It's literally my summer color, but I love this foundation so much that I still use when I actually do use foundation. I don't use foundation that often. So when I do use, I just use this, but you know so i just literally apply a few drops in here and that is literally enough and i just go over a little bit like that and then i know it'll look a bit weird now definitely put orange but it'll make sense i promise and this brush I'm using, I have no idea where it's from, so... But it's just a brush like this. Like I was saying, as for, f uh, as for whether it hurts or not for me, I, I had a lovely... I felt like it was amazing. I loved the pain and as soon as I finished, I wanted to get another tattoo. I don't know. The pain was really, really nice. I actually really enjoyed the pain, like... I can't I can't explain but every person I actually say that I enjoy the pain of getting the the um, tattoo they say I'm weird but honestly I actually loved it honestly I actually loved it so so much it is painful yes 100% it's painful but it's not a pain that you can't bear, if that makes sense. But that could be the location I got. I don't know. I don't think you can rely on me. I do want to get more tatties. So once I do get more ta tatties, I think I'll be able to judge it better. But as of yet, for me, it wasn't that painful. It's not that deep. Unless you get a really big one. I don't know. But for me, this was not that deep at all. Like I said, I don't think I can, like, you can rely on me that much. Apparently my camera is feeling hot. I don't know why but yeah so like i was saying the second question is my best friend never told me she was pregnant and i'm hurt i've been in situations where my friends got pregnant and they didn't tell me straight away me or my friends whatever didn't tell us straight away and for me uh being pregnant is such a situation that is especially if your friend for example is young or something and they got pregnant and they're still adjusting to the situation that they're pregnant themselves to then go ahead and tell other people it's a lot of pressure on themselves so for me i don't think you should be hurt it's not your position to be hurt that your friend didn't tell you straight away because every person deals with things differently and they probably had to deal with the situation first themselves before they could share to the world or to their friends whatever i'm pretty sure they didn't tell a stranger before they told you they probably just had to you know um they probably just had to uh they probably just had to adjust to the situation before they could come and share like because it's a happy thing but if the person is not happy with it yet they probably don't want to share it. Maybe your friend will call you straight away and be like, maybe you would call your friend straight away, but you don't know until you are in the situation. Uh, I'll be using the Born This Way fa uh, Too Faced Foundation. This is in the shade Golden Beige. I feel like this is a bit lighter for me. I should have definitely got it a bit darker, but obviously we are in um, quarantine. And I had to basically just order this online because I really wanted to try this. And I wasn't able to actually try it in store, so I just had to order. But like I was saying, if your friend is not ready to tell you or was not ready to tell you as soon as they've done the pregnancy test and it was positive, you, like, just give them time. Don't put pressure on your friends or be mad at them because they didn't tell you because I'm pretty sure you haven't told your friends everything about your life. And sometimes your friends need the time and a pregnancy is literally bringing somebody new to the world and it's so overwhelming that you shouldn't put the pressure to your friends that, I mean, you should have told me when she found out. No, they shouldn't. You should let them have the guts and the time and whenever they do feel ready to share, that's when they feel ready to share. And I don't think anyone 
you uh, you're not in the position to be upset at all like literally at all for example i one of my one of my friends were like pregnant and they didn't tell me and i knew because obviously i knew they were going to the process of uh i knew from the beginning of like happening pretty much and the person was feeling really insecure in telling me and didn't know how to tell and the person was avoiding me for like a whole a few weeks hold on the person was avoiding me for a good few weeks and i was just like i know you're pregnant but like i just had to give the person i'm just gonna wet my spoon i just had to give the person time and not put the pressure there for the person to actually come and tell me uh, and the person obviously knew that i was i knew what was going on but the person just didn't know how to tell me because of situations that were going on in my life so it's totally normal and people just want to you know have to learn to deal with situations before they're able to actually share it so t t definitely you shouldn't be upset over your friend definitely reach your friend and just you know speak with them and tell them that you actually okay with the whole situation because i mean it's not fair on them because being pregnant is a big deal you know but anyway let's move on to the next oh my face looks so weird i want to get nipple pierced does it hurt i do have my nipple pierced pierced and that is the only piercing i technically have bef besides my ears so uh does it hurt yes it does freaking hurt i know see I know people say that is her and I say it doesn't wait for the nipple piercing for me it's a killer I thought I was gonna die <laughs> it was so so painful and the thing is my friends I did it with two friends of mine and they first went in and one of them the first one went in and she came out and she was like oh, I didn't hurt the second one went in and she like screamed and she comes out and she's like no it didn't hurt and i was like mate you just screamed but obviously i was there i was not gonna chicken out i was the last one and yeah i definitely still went in got it done it was a killer i feel like putting the piercing is what hurt more than actually piercing it so i don't know i can't that pain was just so bad it was horrible but i mean afterwards it doesn't it's not painful at all like um once you actually do the piercing the piercing and you actually walk out it doesn't hurt it's just like it just feels like your nipple when it's like cold because one it's just hardens i don't know but for me it wasn't painful afterwards you just have to take care of it and it heals really fast I feel like it healed really fast but you obviously do have to take care of it i didn't get any infection i didn't get any problems with it whatsoever up until today's day and i've had this for i think five years i think it's been five years i don't even know but yeah another one i had one night stand and now the guy keeps coming for me what should i do i mean if it was definitely a one night stand and you don't want to be with the person at all you don't want to have another stand whatever you just have to tell the pro i just think you just have to be honest and just be like look i don't want to talk about this i don't want us to you know have any first of all you shouldn't even have this person on social media or on whatsapp or whatever if you just had a one night stand with them you shouldn't have any contact with them because supposedly it wasn't one night stand right so you shouldn't have any contact with them but if you do i think you should just be honest with the person and be like look i actually don't want to take this any further because then if you do they will think you will no longer be one night stand obviously so yeah like I've, i even spoke with my friends um while back once about this and we were like yeah like if you had one night stand the person shouldn't be coming for you you know just let them be like just tell them just be honest either block them and just move away or just be honest and literally tell them look it's not gonna happen again and you just move on you know so uh um tips on handling finance i need those tips myself because girl um i'm using this uh kick your brush and that's it has this thing here so i like to use that for my contour yeah so i mean girl if you what was the question if you 
need tips on handling finance i'm actually learning that myself right now because you know what girl is studying finance and accounting so i do i have been taking care of my finance quite well right now and especially that i'm not working i've been doing focusing on only like only spending money not actually on what i actually need and for example stuff i need for content for youtube and uh pretty much that's the only thing i've been spending money on lately it's just stuff like on youtube and stuff everything else literally i just been saving as much as i can because uh you know what i'm not working so i do want to do a lot of things in the summer so i definitely need to minimize my budget you know just like don't spend money on things you don't have to and i mean with fine with finances is really hard because you get paid and one thing you should always do is have like all your bills set aside so like you know um you know which bills come in and when it's coming and how much you have on bills and debts and stuff for the month so you know how much you're gonna spend on debts how much you're gonna need for your social life how much you're gonna need for whatever uh, and then you take out the money you actually won't need so whatever money you won't need take it aside put it on uh ouch put it on uh, um, a bank account my camera keeps heating up i'm sorry but anyway now i'm going to be using this nyx do we um setting spray and i like to apply this after i do all my base just because i like to set that first before i go into baking but yeah so tips with handling finance is just really you setting out what you need to pay what you need to spend money on for the month and then keep aside for example what you would need i won't tell you money wise and prices because i don't know how much you earn but whatever you actually know you won't be able to spend or you won't need like you will need for food you will need for anything anything that's extra you put it aside and that way you just move from there <sighs> that is not my tongue the question is how to stay productive so how to stay productive good question i need that no i'm joking so basically i i actually for the past since um I stopped working no it's not since i stopped working since february i have been really 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 productive in the ways i make sure i have my days really really busy not really busy but i actually have stuff to do during the day so we are if you for example that asked this question or you that are watching are on quarantine and you like just at home not working definitely make sure you plan your days as if you're working make sure you actually do things that will keep you busy and you know moving and stuff so for example me i tend to have a schedule i do go to uni full time so i do have uni three times a week no twice a week but i have lessons and everything that i have to watch before my actual seminar so i would say definitely make sure you plan your days and you have everything organized and you actually do like to do i love to do lists i do everything for to-do lists i do lists all the time for anything forever and i just make sure i then follow i love thinking and i love the feeling on when you take and you're like oh my god i did everything that was on the list today and it's okay if you don't but it's good if you actually have something and you're like okay i want to accomplish this today and i'm gonna do everything that's on my to-do list i'm gonna wake up i literally even put get up at six in the morning that's on my to-do list get up at eight that's on my to-do list do your bed that's on my to-do list drink water drink um two liters of water a day that's on my to-do list and when you hit these targets daily it makes you feel so so good and that is literally one of the things i love about doing to-do list is literally that the fact that i can um the fact that i can just um take these things and just be like proud of myself from the fact that I can be proud of myself from doing, uh, achieving those goals is just amazing. But yeah, the camera keeps uh, turning off because of... Oh, I didn't show you guys, but I was using this collection. Primer, uh, Invisible 
setting powder. I really like this setting powder. I really like this setting powder. What the hell? What kind of English was that, Patricia? But yeah, anyway. So, yeah, that's literally how I stay productive, you know. With my to-do list. With, like, setting up what I actually need to do for the day. And not just staying in bed or on Instagram or stuff like that. I don't really use eyeshadow like that. But I think I'm going to use a little bit of, like, color today. Just to give a little bit, you know, of thingy. So, I thought we could use... This Morphe palette, this is 3503 uh, Fierce by Nature, and it has this colors here. And I, oh, it had a pink here, but no, I don't think I want to do pink. I'm gonna do a little bit of brown, maybe I'll put pink like down here, we'll see. But I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush, which is this one here. I usually use this for like brown so I'm gonna use this color here and this is color savage yeah it's color savage uh, I'm gonna powder a little bit and just you know go a little bit over here Okay, the next question is literally what inspired me to like do YouTube. I just really like YouTube on its own and I love watching YouTube, especially like vlogs, makeup videos, hair videos. I just love this type of thing. So I just thought this is something I do on a daily basis. Why not share, you know? So that is why I do these things and also I love editing I love to learn new things so with my editing and stuff I'm always trying to learn something new and editing even though it might seem like it's long but it's actually something that I like doing it you know I'm not gonna use this a bit darker one down here so I'm just gonna use that to oh my god still, I should have flattered that but it's okay we'll fix it I pick on the pink should I should I do that oh my god am I gonna ruin this am I gonna ruin this for us oh my god wait before anything oh that actually looks real cute Oh, I like it. That actually looks really cute. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so that is really why I like doing this. So I actually like the whole thing of editing, getting ready for videos, and doing the videos itself, like... I really enjoy that so I don't find it like oh I'm actually gonna do this now I like it and yeah like I just really like it so I just thought you know what why not do something you like if you actually like something you do it's just amazing you know it's amazing anyway I will now be using oh did I show you the pink color I use so I use this pink color here yeah so I have a brown eyeliner. This is Collection um, Extreme 24 Hours uh, Felt Tip Liner. Mm -hmm. I want to do something onto my eyebrows. So I did get this NYX glue from... Uh, Boots? Did I get this from Boots? Yeah, I think I got this from Boots. And I saw this like all over TikTok. This is like a brow styler. And it's like a brow glue. So it, it gives you that soap illusion. So I'm going to use that for my eyebrows now. This is one of my new pieces. New edition. And I just love to literally brush it up. The whole thing.
I see you work out quite often. When do you, where do you get your motivation from? Um, ev um, either eating or sleeping. This is what this person said. So I don't work out all the time at all. Literally, this month is the month that I've actually said I was going to work out every single day, or at least every single day, and try my best to literally work out all the time. And that is literally what I've been doing. And uh, yeah, so I have been running. I run three times a week, four, three to four times a week. And the days I don't run, I try to do some workout at home. I'm trying, I'm going to be using this bronzer. I'm not sure where this is from. It's just a matte bronze brand B. I don't know. I've just had this for ages. So that's just what I use. Uh, and that is literally how I inspire myself to do something with my workout and my eating habits I just want to technically me is not too much on losing weight and achieving the body or anything I just kind of want to stay very healthy and I don't want to have a flat fat belly for me it's literally my belly that bothers me I don't have a flat belly and that's what I'm working towards so if you have a goal or something you really want to work towards to then you should definitely focus on that and that's literally what is going to motivate you to actually do some workout besides that girl there's nothing I can do for you because if you don't put yourself out there if you don't actually work for yourself and only yourself you will never get this done you have to actually do it for yourself and actually want to have the body for you and nobody else and once you put that in your head i think you're just gonna have the motivation to do it like and you also have to actually find a workout something that actually gets you out of bed to go and do it like i find out i love running and leaving my bed to actually go run isn't a it's not like oh my god i have to go for running no i actually like going for running so the days that i'm actually not run not running i feel like oh my god i'm actually not doing anything but i'm actually working with that and trying not to actually think that so yeah make sure you drink your water girls make sure you drink your water anyway this is what we've got so far i am going to do my eyelashes now i haven't really been doing uh putting eyelashes any anymore just because i don't really like it that much anymore i just want to like keep my natural um my natural um eyelashes out uh that's and that's literally all i've been doing only using my eyelashes and i like that i mean you can use eyelashes but i sometimes put it but i just don't even want the work anymore so i've just been using my own eyelashes i'm gonna be using this maybelline uh, mascara it's been everywhere on tiktok it's absolutely amazing when i got my hands on this guys i got it from savers for six pounds something and i was just oh, this is so so good but you'll see what i mean this is what my makeup and a hair looks like i just wanted to show you guys in good lighting so you could see what everything looks like so yeah and now let me show you as per outfit this is what i'm wearing i just put this black top some jeans and then i have this uh pink jacket it's literally the only pink thing i actually own so yeah ignore the whole mess in the room but yeah yeah guys we've came to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed uh watching me create this makeup look and this hairstyle it def it's definitely out of my comfort zone i have never done a hairstyle like this or eyeshadow like this so i'm really happy with the results though i hope you really enjoyed watching this as much as i enjoyed making it uh definitely make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i have loads loads of content coming out for the next week so definitely make sure you hit that bell button so you get notified every time i upload a video also make sure you go ahead and follow me on instagram i'll be creating some looks taking some pictures with this look so definitely make sure you go ahead and follow me there also to keep in touch with me closer than youtube uh and yeah so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on my next video 
Bye.